it is now Saturday. It is about 9 a.m. Probably a little bit after 9 a.m. because we stayed up until like 2 last night. If you guys have followed along for a while, you might know my brother just lives like two streets up like they're super close less than a, a minute drive yeah whenever we go over there we end up kind of staying a long time just because i don't know it is so close and we just like to chat with them so anyways we were over there pretty late and like i said we didn't go to sleep until about two um so i slept in a little bit later not really i mean i feel like i always wake up by nine but anyways now i'm gonna make breakfast i would do my bagel but i'm thinking i'm gonna switch it up so i might just fix some yogurt and add some safe and fair granola to it i love safe and fair granola if you guys have never tried it it's all made with like natural ingredients it has like no artificial ingredients preservative free no high fructose corn syrup non-gmo vegan ancient grains plant-based i mean it has a bunch of goodness in there so if you guys want to try safe and fair you can use my code i will pop it up here on the screen that will save you some money on your safe and fair order everything that they make i am obsessed with i love their food products Yogurt always looks so gross when you like first open it. But it says it's good until December 16th, so... up my mom's dogs so everyone is very happy these two just play like the whole time and Bucky and Winston are loners and also while I was gone we got lots of packages so this is just their dog food which I'm happy it came in because they were completely out this morning and then I'll open these two now these are just Alani New Energy drinks from GNC and then our Thrive Market order, which is always fun to open. The Alani New Energy drinks are some of my favorites and they were like 50% off on Black Friday. Oh, this is only one of them. So I've never tried this flavor before, but it's called Tropsicle and it looked like it would be good. So I just wanted to try a different flavor. Now we're restocked. So if you don't know what Thrive Market is, it's basically an online grocery store, but all of their stuff is like, natural like I don't know it's just like really healthy and you pay a membership fee and like per month or per quarter I'm not sure what it is that allows you to get access to all of these like healthy organic food items but they're discounted on Thrive Market so whatever price you see in the grocery store like at Kroger or Target whatever you're it's gonna be less on Thrive Market so you do have to pay a membership but the membership fee, I believe, gets deducted from, like, your orders. So, anyways, it's kind of cool. I have a referral code down below. It's just, like, any other referral code that anyone can sign up for where if you use my link, you get something off, I get something off, that sort of thing. But I always love seeing what's in other people's Thrive Market orders because sometimes I don't know what to order. Got lots of stuff. This all was only, like, $40, too, because I had credit and got, like, 30% off or something like that. First, we have Whenever Bars. I've, we've had these before. Patrick's right here, so I'm gonna show him, too. Oh, chocolate chip coconut. Oh, I don't know. I didn't mean to get the coconut, I don't think. We got Annie's Shells and White Cheddar Mac and Cheese. I've never tried this, have you? It's good. I've heard it's very good. These, but they're basically like Annie's uh, Rice crispy Treats. Interesting. You can make like a little Christmas dessert out of that. Got some crackers for like cheese and crackers, whatever. These I've had before, I love them. They are the Choco Dream Crispy Rice Sticks. I don't know why, they're really good to me and they're only 55 calories. It's just like if you literally just want something super small, but like a sweet treat, these are really nice for that. Also just got some fettuccine pasta. We always like having pasta on hand. I wanted to try these. These are also by Annie's. They are the Bunny Grams, but they're in birthday cake. I love birthday cake, so. <laughs> and they package everything really nice too, so it's, I've never had anything damaged from here 
like so this is a salsa so it's just like an organic salsa and medium it actually looks really good like the consistency looks nice I also wanted to try this uh, barista blend almond milk by Califia Farms we've tried the barista blend oat milk and I like almond milk better than oat milk so I'm wondering if the barista blend of the almond milk will taste really good too the barista blend of the oat milk was really good. Yeah. But the, the regular oat milk that we got. It's like good. seriously so different. Like the Califia Farms regular oat milk, not good. We did not like it. The Califia Farms barista blend oat milk, very good. But I'm just wondering if the barista blend will be better since the, it was like that for the oat milk. Tomato soup. We're going to do a tomato soup and a grilled cheese night. I love that. I don't know if we've had this one before. I think the other one we had was like a um, red pepper and tomato soup. I'm not sure, but this one's just tomato basil soup. This is just an organic marinara. Oh yeah, this is new. I think it has the keto label on it. We're not on keto, but I don't know. I just kind of wanted to try it. I said sugar free is never bad. Yeah. We always try to get lower carb or lower sugar pasta sauces anyways, even though we're not like on keto or low carb, just because if they do have carbs, it's probably from sugar. And like, why do you really need sugar in your tomato sauce? You don't. Yeah, I got this one. And then another one that is super similar that we used to eat all the time on keto is by Rayo's. Ray, I don't know. I hope I'm saying that right. But they had this on sale, like literally it was on sale, like discounted even more. And this stuff is usually pretty expensive. I think at our grocery store, what is it, like $9? It's like eight. Yeah, it's pretty expensive and it was on sale for five. And then of course all the discount, discounts on top. I almost got two of them, but I wanted to try this one too. So we always are like missing marinara or like if we don't have anything to cook, we can just do pasta and marinara. So those are nice to have. I got a few of the smart sweets. So if you guys have never heard of these, they are basically emulating like really popular candy. So like peach rings, for instance, they have a version of peach rings, but they're only three grams of sugar in each bag. My favorite is the peach rings. I love them. I think they're so good. And the Swedish fish, which is funny because I'm not really a huge Swedish fish fan, like of the actual candy, but I like the Smart Sweets ones. They also have gummy bears and Sour Patch Kid type things, but I'm not too big on those, but I do like these two. And some things that are super inexpensive, you have to get two of them. So that's why like, I have two of these and two of these because that's just kind of how they sell them in batches. We also got brownie thins. I just thought these, again, would be a nice little sweet treat. Only 120 calories per serving, all that good stuff. So apparently these also were only sold as two. I thought Patrick would like these. Classic tortilla chips, bacon habanero. You wanna do a taste test? Bacon habanero chips in the morning. And then lastly, I got these twin creamy peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. So we love these. We actually got some from Trader Joe's. I actually wasn't a huge fan of the Trader Joe's ones though. So I thought I'd take, try these out. And then the last thing before Patrick does a taste test, I got these organic freezer pops that are 100% fruit juice, no added sugar. I don't know. I thought these would be good. I liked the flavors. They come in Concord grape, cherry limeade, and fruit punch. I feel like a lot of the ones just that like Kroger come with like really weird flavors, but these actually looked good to me. So I'm excited to try these. And the packaging is kind of cute, right? Patrick's gonna do a taste test of the bacon habanero chips. Buck already got one. Do they taste like bacon? It's like a hint of bacon. Hmm, I'm scared. They are pretty good. Those would be really good with uh, salsa. Yeah, they are more so like classic tortilla chips than I expected. I thought they'd be more Dorito-ish, but. Yeah, it's not like an overwhelming bacon but habanero taste. Mm -mm. So yeah, here's our little food haul this morning. I usually film really quickly what I got to on Instagram stories, so I'll probably do that really quick and then put everything away. So now I am just at my desk getting ready, um, just like putting on makeup and doing my hair because I am going to film my Amazon gift guide today. It is about four o'clock, so 
the day has just been going by so fast i don't know what it is lately like today and yesterday just went by so fast i guess that's just the weekend like ugh, but i really want to get like most of my to-do list done today and i still have a lot to do this is my to-do list it's very very long but most of them will not take that long after i film other than editing which i do want to get at least half of that video done today i'm drinking one of the new tropsicle it's pretty good it's not as intense as a lot of their other flavors, which I kind of like because some of them are like really, really intense and they kind of taste too sweet, but this one is kind of mild, so I like it. But like I said, I'm just going to continue getting ready. Um, I kind of took a little break to import some footage to my laptop, but now we're getting back to it. I need to start with my eyebrows. finished my eyes did a really like kind of smoked out cranberry sort of situation and I used the Too Faced cinnamon bear palette this is so cute I just love the colors in there so I use that and I think I'm actually gonna use that blush too so I'm gonna keep that out I'm just going to use the same bronzer I've been using like every day which is the Ilia bronzer that I got during the VIB sale it is such a good bronzer I got the shade novelty but I really like the um, like tone and just the shade. And I have been having to like take bronzer down my neck because I don't have a foundation that matches my skin tone right now, like at all. Yeah, this is the lightest foundation that I have pretty much and I still does not match, so. <laughs> to just curl my hair quickly which is kind of boring so I won't record that but yeah I'm gonna curl my hair feed the dogs probably and then I will gather everything I need to film and get started because it's a lot it's like 40 items so yeah I need to gather those things the ones that I have which most of them I do own so that's gonna be fun that's like the worst part of the video is like gathering everything you need to film so once I'm done with that I can sit down and start filming and it'll be fine but yeah that's the plan all right so now I'm about to film my Amazon gift guide so I just have some things like sitting on the table and then I have my rolling cart that's holding the rest of the stuff I'm going to show and uh, yeah it is filming time all right so i'm now done filming which is always a really good feeling just to have that big task out of the way so i'm really excited about that the dogs are like drinking so much water so i'm sorry you can hear them in the background i wanted to show you guys it's dark in here but patrick mounted our tv and we put the little like lights behind it so it looks really cool i'm very excited about it he has on green right now which i'm assuming he did for christmas but it doesn't really match the green we have in here so i'm gonna change it i think that's that's orange so yeah, now it's like flashing colors. How cool. So now we have like lots more space here. I don't know why I can't get red. No, but like that's red. See, it has red. Oh, that's cool. Like that one. I don't know. It'll only do it when it's changing. I can't figure out how to just get it to stay on red. But anyways, yeah, how cool. The TV looks really good mounted and you can swivel it and stuff. Yeah, how cool. A long time ago when I did like a house tour, someone was like, can you please mount your TV? You probably could have mounted it a little lower, but... It is way too late. And just think, when your fall decorations are here, they're going to be up to there. So it's not going to look as bad. Get some garland. Whatever. I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. I mean, four water is really not bad at Patrick's being grouchy. Gotta come up in here and talk about my mountain. Get out of here. I think if you got like some garland what do you guys or think? something to place right here. Who wants the garland? I don't want garland. Right? Well, then I mean like it could be dirt for all I care. You can put it right here and it is, as long as you lose a little gap, it's going to look perfectly fine. So I'm just going to have to go shopping for more Christmas decor yeah, pretty basically. Much. Pretty much. You want to get in there? 
Oh god, I should have known that was gonna happen. Who's licking me? Me. <laughs> Ew, Archie. Ew, your mouth is sucking wet, dude. I'm hungry, and we need to decide what we're doing about dinner. We we're gonna make Mexican food here, but we haven't went to the store still. Now what do you think about the TV? <laughs> I mean, it literally looks the exact same. But there's something on it now. I mean, I'm just like, what was your thought process when hanging at the eye? Look how cute me and Bucky are. We're cuddling. How sweet. When he suggests something for dinner that you don't like. Right, Bucky. You already had dinner, though. Seriously, though, like tomorrow, we're going grocery shopping. Sure, sure. Sure, sure, Clark. We're going to go Because Buck looks so cute. And my makeup looks so good. We decided to come to a Mexican restaurant near us. Yum. Are you excited? Patrick ordered the biggest margarita they have. It's kind of price. <laughs> All right, my margarita. It's a Catalina with orange juice and stuff. Patrick just got a regular, a a regular lime. Oh my goodness. This is the smallest size they have. Yeah, that is gigantic. Put it next to mine. In the grand scheme, it's my not margarita. That much more. Patrick's margarita. My goodness. We are home from Poncho. We had a nice dinner that you guys saw with big margaritas. Now we are just chilling out. We're gonna watch our second Christmas movie of the season, but our first one home. I don't know if that makes sense, but the first time it was like with a group of people and I don't know, I just feel like you can't really get in the spirit. So we're watching How the Grinch Stole Christmas, which is probably my number one favorite Christmas movie. What's your number one favorite Christmas movie? Probably the Polar Express. What's your number two? What's your top five? I would say the Grinch is definitely probably number two. For me, it would be number one, the Grinch. Number two, Daddy's Home 2, even though that's newer. It's one of my yeah. favorites. Number three, Christmas Vacation. Yeah, Christmas Vacation is in my top five. I would definitely have to say Home Alone. I get like torn because I love the classics, but I also like Daddy's Home 2 is just like so funny and it will be a classic Christmas movie I, I like I mean I think my theme is like funny movies I love the classics you know like it's a wonderful life is a great movie white Christmas amazing Christmas movies but <gasps> what is happening Winston's like scaling a building over here he just tried to jump on two couches at one time what's happening he's trying to get to me but like I don't really want him to what are some other Christmas things. movies I like oh elf Oh, yeah. Elf is a good one. one. It's a classic. Y'all, Winston feels the need to sit on top of me every time he comes over. Christmas with the Crank is a good one. Look at Bennett in the background. All right. Well, we're going to watch The Grinch. It's starting now. So we're going to watch. How the Grinch it. stole Christmas. And we have wine. And Patrick fixed us. I actually made that myself. And a classic bulldog on the lap. There you go. Oh, there you go. 